Ferrari. You took you a big smile. You took so happy. I need to condition my hair, so I look really weird. Is that why you got that Aunt Jemima thing going on here? Yeah, that is. Like you gonna stand on the porch with your big robe on? That's what my like, dad. Like you kids, you get back in this house. My dad used to tease me and say that, so I'm triggered. Really? No, not really triggered, but he did used to do that. In his robe? Hmm? Did he also have on a thing? No, or? I'm saying he used to say I look like Aunt Jemima oh, yeah. when I was Aunt like. Jemima? You're not Aunt Jemima. That don't even make no sense. You make pancakes. Uh, you like pancakes? Yes, I like pancakes. Mm. Do you like waffles? I do like waffles. Do you like French toast? I do. Do you, do you can't wait to get a waffle. Jellyfish. Oh, it is Sunday. Sunday, fun day. It is officially easy like Sunday morning. Oh. Uh, and you're leaving me tomorrow? I'm leaving you tomorrow. I ain't gonna worry about it today. Yeah. Like, man, what a cool song that is. It's like, I got all this shit to do. But I'm gonna deal with that tomorrow. Because it's Sunday. You know, and that's how I feel most days. Is that the Bee Gees? No, it's not the Bee Gees. Oh my god, I don't... What is that? I don't think it's Lionel Richie either. It might be Lionel Richie. Now I have to know. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, look it up. I was uh, I was walking to the store yesterday, and I was going over numbers in my head because uh, we are completely dependent on these taxes to come back, so that I could pay like rent. <laughs> it is Lionel Richie. Ah, I'm so good. And it's like, well, I've already submitted my taxes. It don't make no sense to be worried about it. They either gonna come on time and we'll take care of it, or they won't come on time and they still gotta give us two months before they can evict us. So either way, ain't no need to be stressing right now. So I have opted not to stress. This one is a B plus student in behavioral health. She is going to be a doctor. 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 I'm so proud of you. So, so proud. Like, you are, and this is sad, because I was telling this story the other day, how uh, my sister graduated from high school, and like, all the, the Harris women in our family got together afterwards, and they stood around, they sat around and looked at the dining room, and they got high. And my sister was so pissed off. But it was such a moment for the Harrises because Trina was like the first Harris to actually do something. You know? But what was messed up is that Trina wasn't even a Harris. So it's like, I can look now like, I didn't graduate high school. I wouldn't got my GED. I was a little lazy on me. But, you know, I have my reasons. So I can safely say you, my dear, will probably be the first Harris that I can think of who will have a PhD of some kind. DBH. Right? DBH. Whatever. Uh, element OP, XYZ, LGBT, whatever. Some, some I'm not changing my gender. Fancy. It's like there's no other Harris in the history of the Harrises. Who have graduated from college. I mean, even I came this close to my associate's degree. Like, I could go back and wrap that up. I just, what? Okay, no offense. Is there a Harris that graduated high school with their high school diploma that you know of? Uh, I, I'm not sure. And I can say that because at the time, like, around the time when my mother would have been graduating from high school was the time when, like, plants were a big yeah, deal. Yeah, like, you and they were just like, Chrysler. we don't care if you graduated or not. We just need people in here working. Yeah. So it was easy for them at the time to just drop out and then go have a 40-year career at Ford or Chrysler. So I can't say that any of them did. You know, not that graduating high school would be a major thing. You know, it's like, that's kind of the prerequisite 
to do other shit. So you will be the first Harris to graduate from college. You know what? I take that back. I had a cousin. Her name was Anita. And she went to the military. And I think while she was in the military, she took classes. But I don't think she got like a doctorate or anything. She was probably just, maybe she got an associate's. Maybe she got a bachelor's. I don't know. But I know she was in the military. She left. She had a couple of kids. And everybody was like, oh, Neat got out. Neat did it. She's a success. But you have to really consider the source. Like, what did the Harrises in the early 90s consider a success? No. It was somebody who didn't live in the ghetto. It was somebody who didn't sit around and smoke weed all day. It was somebody mm -hmm. who wasn't on Section 8 in the projects. So maybe even if she had got a little part-time job and they consider her a success, maybe that was a success to them. But I'm comfortable in saying you'll be the first one with a with a with a DBZ. DBZ. Oh, it's a Dragon Ball Z. Oh, oh, oh DBZ. It, you know you. Okay. You know, you'll be the first one to have like the big time title behind your name. So congratulations to Asia, who is a doctor in behavioral health. Getting Not it. yet. Man, you I'm only working on my bachelor's right now. Dude, that vid the day you graduate with, with your elemental P or whatever it is that you're going to get, yeah, you know, with your EBT. <laughs> <laughs> like, man. I'm qualified in EBT. That is going to be a celebration because you will officially become the sole breadwinner of this family. That's not necessarily true. You know, just because I have a degree doesn't mean I have a job for it. But and who knows what you'll be doing after okay, time? Okay, but still, maybe a, you'll be working on your series. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be but nice. look, you are a success, and I'm proud of you for even having the ambition to want to do more. That's such a big deal. A lot of people get comfortable where they are, and it was easier back in the day because you could be like, well. I work 40, 50 hours a week. You know, I think Ford at the time was paying you like $13 an hour, which sounded like a lot of money. Back then, yeah. Oh, my God. The when when minimum like, wage oh, was like five bucks. Yeah, man. That was, that was like a big triple. Deal. Look, look, when I left regional transit, I was making 16 What do you make now? What could you make now at like Ford or Chrysler? Oh, please. Uh, they, it would almost have to be like 18 19 Okay, I noticed like, all up and down my timeline, like a lot of people in Detroit, they get like plant jobs. Like it's not necessarily at like Ford or Chrysler, but they get like these plant jobs. And it's like, it seems like really popular to get a plant job. Is it because it makes good money or is it because they're always hiring? Is it like a Technicolor type deal? It, you know, oh my God, Technicolor was such a good job. Hmm. It really was, had it paid more. Because it was really the kind of thing where you show up, you work. If you want to put in eight hours, put in eight hours. If you want to put in 16 hours, put in 16 hours. Oh. They didn't care. They just wanted able-bodied people. So you came in when you wanted. You worked as long as you wanted? Oh, no. Once you were there, you were committed to the day. Okay. But it was the sort of thing like... How long did you used to it? Uh, I would do eight-hour shifts. Yeah. And I would typically do three or four days a week. Mm -hmm. But the, the catch was... The shift started at 6, which means you had to be there at 5 because everybody was lining up. It was first come, first serve. You get here first, you get the spot. Okay, so, so it was like we're letting in 50 people today. Yeah, it's like today we only need 100 people, and if 280 people showed up, well, some people were just shit out of luck. So you wanted to be there early. That Did you was, ever get there and you weren't able to work? Yeah, there were times when I would get there and go, well... Damn. But the cool part was that if you got up at, say, 4 in the morning, and you were like, oh, man, I gotta go to work. I don't feel like it. You could roll over and go to sleep, and there was no penalty. The, on the only thing that you could consider a loss was you didn't get paid today. Mm. That was it. But it's not like a risk of losing your job. No, it. it's like... They like, oh, I have to use six times. No, there's no like unexcused absences. If you needed the day off, you just took the day off. And I can say honestly that I did not have the mindset for that. I was just like, well, there's no consequence to me not going, so I'm just not going to go. When I really could have been saying, 
I'll work two 16-hour shifts and then one eight-hour shift and then have four days off and still or get my 40. Four ten. Well, no, no, it was it was eight-hour shifts. Eight or 16? No, it was... Eight. So it was eight there or was double? Eight, there was eight in the morning. You would work from like six to two. Mm-hmm. And then it was, I want to say, three to 11. Mm. So if you got off at two, you were in prime position to stand right back in the line and do it again mm. if you chose to. That's a lot. Yeah, and Have you a, ever done 16? I've done 16 before. Were they like, oh, gosh. You know, it's, it's honestly, it feels longer because it was tedious. It was just this assembly line of take a DVD case out of the box, open the DVD case, set it on the conveyor belt. And then it would go down the conveyor belt and there was one guy who would put the security sticker in. Then there was one guy who would put in like the little DVD, like the little sleeve that says this is the movie and then the different chapters. Then one guy snapped in the DVD, one guy closed the box, then one guy took the whole thing off the off the, the DVD, off the, the belt and then put the whole thing in a box. And then at the end of that line, there was a guy who packed the boxes and put them onto a pallet. But when the pallet was full, there was a guy who would come and forklift it away. So mm-hmm. it was really just you all day. If you were the sticker guy, you were just bored. You were just... What was your favorite position? You know, I I liked being at the end of the line where it was like take the entire box of DVDs and then seal it up. Because it was... Once every 15 minutes or so, you had to seal the box up. And it wasn't a constant thing. But, Mm. man, it got boring. It was just, you had to make friends. You had to make conversation. If you didn't, it was just you sitting there in boredom. And you couldn't listen to headphones because they needed you to be listening because it was like machinery and stuff going. You needed to be able to hear all of that going on. So, oh, my God, it was such a pain. Had I had had I been able to listen to headphones, I might have been okay. Mm. But you know, I listened to a podcast or something, and you know, the day would have slid right by. But to go back to your original question with plant jobs, I think plant jobs are just it's it's cheap, it's easy labor, and there's always some kind of work there. So the downside is is that. At any given time, if car sales go down, they could just lay off 100 people. Mm. And they're going to go with you first because you're not union. Because you can't just lay off a union guy. So you have to work hard to make union. Okay. So I've never worked in a plant. I would have worked in a plant. But, you know, I kind of wanted my mother to pull a string or something and get me in. But at the time, I was I had the mindset of that's a lot of work. Like I ain't doing that. It's like you come home, you always tired. When I'm gonna get to go and do this, I want to be able to go hang out with my friends. You, know, you tired too much. It's like now I'm 42 years old. Shit, I wish somebody would offer me a plant job. <laughs> Some 19, 20 bucks an hour to stand in one spot and lift a thing. Hell yeah, I would do that. Shit. But that was a long time ago, and I don't know if they necessarily do it like that anymore. Oh, this is nice. You know, we were kind of laying here. I was kind of watching something on the tubes, and I kind of drifted to sleep. It was funny because I was laying here, and my eyes were closed, and every now and then I would hear myself snore. <laughs> and, oh, oh, say, oh, man, I hope you don't think I'm asleep because I'm totally listening to this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Wow. <laughs> Nope, I'm up. I heard the last thing, and then I'll be like, "What's the last thing you said?" Just in case Asia <laughs> asked me, "What's the last thing you said?" Yeah, I heard that shit. I Why did you make it seem like I was just gonna like test you or like, something? Just in case, because I wasn't even listening like the last like twenty minutes. Just in case, man, I just wanted to be ready, you know. But it's like I kind of drifted to sleep a little bit, and then I kind of rolled over on her, and then she went and got the blanket. I Thanks, Mike, for the blankets for Christmas. This is actually mine, I think. It is, but whatever. You know, and we were just laying here, and I was like, "Ah, oh, but it's it's Sunday. We should we should be doing something. Let's let's do some stuff." So I decided to turn. It's better on. than being up under each other. Oh no, I'm slipping. Uh, oh, do you want me uh, to hold it? Nah, I got it. Okay. I got it. I got a good grip now. Um, what else is going on in our lives today? 
uh, last night, Asia and I, on a whim, on accident, decided that we were going to start doing celebrity deathmatch type videos. So we went onto the game, WWE 2K18, and we downloaded a bunch of like really crappy rappers. Like, so I've got like a Nicki Minaj and a Cardi B and a Beyonce and whoever the fuck little Uzi Vert is. Not just rappers, it was like celebrities, yeah, like but celebrities. like really crappy celebrities like the Kardashians and stuff. Yeah, and we did a whole tournament and we had such a good time doing it, but the volume was a little messed up. It was. And then we were like, well, since if we're going to do it again, let's put in some effort. And I try to make them look good. So I got up this morning and made an arena for it. And I edited Beyonce's outfit. You know, and I even went on YouTube and did research to see who else was doing it. And I did find a guy who did like Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj or something. And it got like like 20,000 views. I mean, it, 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 it was impressive. But then there were other people who did like little known celebrities like Christian Stewart against Anne Hathaway. And it got like 12 views. <laughs> it's like, I do it for fun. Absolutely for fun. And we can do it and we can kind of mock these celebrities as we do it, which is a good time. But if I'm going to commit that kind of time to it, I want it to be quality. And I want it to be something that people will kind of enjoy. Yeah. So sometime today we are going to redo that tournament. And we also have, we got a dudes tournament we have to do. Mm -hmm. So that should be fun. Um, so I have this new episode of Star Trek Discovery. It's going to be the highlight of one of my, part of my day is because I get to find out what happened to, uh, to the Klingon War because we missed nine months of that. So now we're back. Not, if, I swear if you watched, that made total sense. But if you didn't, you were just like, what do you mean you missed nine months? So, so that's pretty much the gist of my day. Uh, Asia is going to be doing this. Don't, you're moving it around. Oh, Don't no, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, your mama. You're still... And I, I, are you going to do a face thing? Yeah, she's going to do a face thing. So I am really sleep. annoyed because I'm getting sleepy and I don't know why. It's almost like I need a nap. It's you. I blame you. You're all comfy and stuff. I know right now because I, I find myself drifting off to sleep. I did. If I take a nap, I will wake up at like five or six and I'll be pissed because I won't want to go to sleep till three o'clock in the morning. I will take sleeping pills. Uh, and then if we take a quick little nap, it's only four twenty-five. We can take a cute, cute, a quick little thirty-minute nap. I, I can't do a quick thirty-minute nap. Yes, you can. I can't. No. I've set my own. First alarm. of all, it takes me a good fifteen, twenty minutes to. You just were go just to sleep. sleep. Okay, but it wasn't. It wasn't like I laid down and closed my eyes and started snoring. That was a process that happened gradually. And it'll happen again because I'm coming. Yeah, to but it I've happens gradually. It's not like you can lay on my pillows. She do got some big old pillows. No, uh, don't show. No, I I can't nap. I will relax. I'm just kind of laying around relaxing, but I need to do my best to not fall asleep. I need I to be engaged in something. That's what it is. If I was engaged in a thing. Can I cat nap on you? If you would like a nap, that's fine. Which but means you'll fall asleep too. I won't. If you are my pillow, you will fall asleep. I know my husband. And I know my wife. And if you were engaged, is that your foot? It is my foot. Oh, look at that. Like, what? what's <laughs> You're that? just it's showing just my foot. All up in the air and I see you. Stop! Up. I am not very. Okay, let's go show your leg. Yeah, but I'm also not very dressed. Ooh. Which would have been very bad. You would have to do this 20 minute video all over no, again. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would no, have. No, I wouldn't. We'd have risked it. Like, oh, it seems you have violated the terms of service I by don't showing want your wife's vagina. To see my goodies. Oh my goodness. See, you know, it's funny. We we're we're doing this video now, right? Mm -hmm. And I accidentally caught a flashback to when we used to do videos. Isn't it funny 
what we thought humor was then to what yes. we think humor is now. Oh my gosh. Like yes. Also we were trying to keep up with the Joneses. Were we? Yeah, I think we was like, oh let's do reaction videos. Or even before that, it's like, oh let's do, you know, I don't know, what kind of videos did we do? We did a lot of skits and stuff. We did skits. It was very organized and it was tedious because like we enjoyed it as much as we could, but it was always scripted and I don't know. Everything we do now is just kind of like random. Yeah, these videos got so much easier when we stopped caring what the content was yeah. and we're just being honest. Yeah. Like, I don't know how entertaining this is for some people, but I know I personally get a kick out of like going back and seeing what we were doing a year ago or 18 mm. months ago. And it's just like, wow, look at that. Like, the things that we thought were entertaining. Probably not so much anymore. I've got aloe on you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I've got aloe on you. No? It's like soaking through. Oh, it's okay, baby. Mm. It's not a big deal. I actually, I really hate having wet stuff on my hair. It's weird. But I'm deep conditioning, so. How long will you be doing this? This? Yes. This this. is going to be on for a while. How long is a while? Couple of hours. Couple of hours, mm-hmm. huh? Uh, are are you like determined to take this nap? I'm not determined. I'm just relaxed. Yeah, I also too am very relaxed. But I feel like if we got up and engaged in something, we would perk up. Mm, now you want to do that? Um, I'm actually really interested in the cinema scenes. Everything wrong with it in 15 minutes or less. First mm-hmm. of all. That sounds really good because I enjoyed it for what it was last year. And I'd like to see him point out the flaws. In it. Not that I even consider him pointing it out. It's just him being an asshole at this point. Mm, I mean. Like, this scene does not get in a lap dance. Of course not. It's a clown. Not why, really. Why, why would it? Cinnamon. Cinema sense. Cinnamon fans. sense? Cinnamon. Cinema. Whatever. But you really? I like cinnamon sense. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's just not really my kind of thing. I don't really watch those kind of YouTube videos, but um, that sounds a lot like laying here watching something, which is not really engaging. Ah, that is also true. And you can turn it on, but that'll also mean that I'm taking a nap. Oh, no. I don't know why you're going to nap. Now I'm going to nap forever. What a mess. Uh, I'm going to go get a towel. Don't get a towel. Yeah. Oh, see, you got up and it just show how horribly uneven my shirt was. No, it's fine. It's just showing off all my fat rolls. They don't really want to see all of that. That's how people unsubscribe. <laughs> people are subscribed? That's right. That's so weird that people come here and watch these. It's like, wow. You say it like it's a lot of people. You know, I only, the main reason I put them on YouTube is because it's kind of like free storage. Like, to, to try to have all of this shit, like, on my hard drive would just be taking up space for no reason. So, I like just putting it on the cloud. Like, here it is. It's out there in the atmosphere for everybody. Um, if you want, we could try to run through one of these tournaments. Uh, you you say if when you say if that's what I want to do, makes it sound like I don't really feel like doing that. But if you want to, I'll I engage. I want to do it. I sure we can do that. I just I I don't like the feeling of saying, "Hey, here's a thing we could do." And you go, I guess you are overthinking things a lot. I do. I like, do. It's, I don't. I want to do that. I just don't know if I want to do that at this moment. But also, it's like. When else would we do it? So, if you want to do that, that is fine. So, if you don't have anything better... You mean like a cat nap? Like, I think you don't want me to take a nap. I think I think your sleeping pattern is going to get all screwy if you take a nap. What, a 30-minute nap? <sighs> and, come on, my sleeping pattern is awesome. Your sleeping pattern is awesome? Yes. Really? Yes, it is. The latest I get up every day is like 10, 1030 maybe. Today I got up later, but because the weekend I just wanted to lay down. Yeah, I ended up popping up at like 1030. Oh, I had weird dreams too. Hmm? I had weird dreams. 
Yeah. Okay. I kind of have wearing rings too, but I don't really remember the boat we were on. Uh, the only one that I really remember is, for whatever reason, we were on a boat, and uh, Cody Rhodes and his wife was there, and it must have been after like a wrestling show. And I remember walking up to him, and I was like, "Man, it's good to see you doing stuff." When all WWE had for you was like the Stardust gimmick. And we shook hands, and I remember thinking that his handshake felt a little dainty. And it was almost like to prove that his handshake wasn't dainty, he grabbed his wife and threw her overboard. It was like, ah, see, I am a bad guy. I was like, okay, I guess. But also, your wife is drowning. And I remember thinking, I could jump in and save her, but I don't know how deep the water is, and I think I have my phone in my back pocket. Wow, so forget a life. <laughs> So, I don't know, weird. But also, you know about forget a life. I don't know how to swim like that. I can float. Okay, if I was in that water, if he threw me, would you jump in? Oh, yeah, just because you're my wife. But, you know, I ain't jumping in for somebody else's wife. What's that a boot? I'm Canadian now. What's that a boot? So, yeah, this is my easy, breezy, beautiful Sunday morning video. This... Oh, it was nice while it lasted, but I'm going to get up and go pee and going to try to do some stuff. Uh, I wanted to do some writing today, but I also don't want to force that. That's not a process I can force. If something comes to me, I'll sit down and jot it down. Like last night, for example, I had an idea, and I just sat down and in one sitting just breezed through a chapter, which was real nice. But today, I don't have that, that same kind of inspiration. So to force it would mean I'm just, it, it wouldn't be as authentic. So I'm holding off and I'm waiting. But I'm, I'm stalling now. It's just time to go. No, go ahead. I, I can wait. No, I was gonna say you look so cute with that with the tile on your head. You look like you look like one of those. You go call me now for your free psychic reading. Only two ninety nine per minute. What's gonna happen in your future? What's gonna happen in my future? Great pleasure. Great pleasure. What happened in my future? Oh, so so my other girl's coming over. Oh no, you know you're the only girl for me. For now. For now, for always. You my baby girl. Baby girl.